All right, I'm gonna go over how I'm doing my color coding with my friction highlighters. And I'm gonna go through here. I already did my monthly. I added some washi tape for some bigger events that I have coming up. I put my little flags on here so that it's easy to get to. Here's my weekly and I put in my events. I already did uh, everything for Monday, meaning that I had filled in all the dots for the things that I've actually done. And I needed to still do my color coding, so I'm going to do my color coding now. And you can see how when it's uncolored, and it's kind of like a big blank page and it's hard to know what's going on. And I just go from one end to another with all of my highlighters. And then that way I cover everything. So I'll just go through and anything that is this one. And then when I have a big event for that whole time, I go ahead and then just cover. And you can see how because I'm using the water resistant ink for my fountain pen that there's no smearing at all. So that's beautiful. And I go through. And then this way I can get a better idea of what's actually going on. And if I see that I haven't used a color, it means that that area is just not being filled maybe for the entire week one is a little heavy compared to the others in terms of what I'm doing one thing I want to make sure is like my blue is for meetings and I want to make sure that that's not overtaking everything because that's kind of dangerous to let all your meetings kind of outweigh everything else that you're doing Sorry, so we we'll try to add in block times to make sure that I'm actually getting in things that I need to do like right now I don't have anything for research. So I'll go ahead and then put that in here. Now technically, and then this highlighter is kind of running out of ink, which makes it kind of schmeary. And then this one, thanks. This is gonna be all personal day. I'm gonna put that here. And then I still need to go over the events for the weekend. And then I can put also items that are in my in view, I think it's good to also highlight those so I have a good idea of what's coming up and what I need to focus on for that week. And then I can see, okay, I got these few things. So I actually put those down here. So this, I need to print for that first item. And then for the last item where I needed to look at some ideas, I said plan things for that meeting. So I actually did that already. So these are the items that I need to talk about at that meeting. And then I also thought this morning that I might incorporate something that was working really well when I was using my Franklin Covey pages. Like I love Franklin Covey pages, but at the same time, I didn't like having the planner and having to, you know, put the pages in and out. And because it was so bulky, like a year was about this. So what I wound up doing was liking the Hoponichi because the pages are so thin, I could fit so much in here. And then I thought this morning that I could do the ABC system, which is you put all your tasks down for the day. Um, I've been using the W versus home to just kind of, in a sense, do the GTD type of making sure that I know what area or what context I'm, I have. And then for the A's or the highest priority, and then I can say, all right, this was probably really the one and a two for this one. I just can't do this this morning until I get to work. So that's why I was like, really, I can do this right now and get this out of the way, and it's an A, so that's why I did this one first. I had a bunch of different things that I didn't complete, and so I'll just leave this here. Usually I'll just, as I'm kind of looking at tasks, if I finish things here, I'll go back, or if something is really high priority, I can star it and make sure that I just do that before moving on to the next day. I had some notes up here from a meeting, and then I could do some journaling. I like to separate things, so I do like a just a line. I just can't do this this morning until I get to work. So that's why I was like, and if I have a little doodle that relates to a note that I put here, so use the dash line for something that I'm noting. And this will be monthly goals. I did the monthly log for some things that I did yesterday. I also set up another thing over here, which was my gratitude and wins on the Coco Daisy personal sheet. And I use this little clip just to keep the day that I'm on. 
And so you can see this was going to be for the goals. And because I haven't done my monthly goals, I can't put my weekly goals. Definitely do it on the 4th of July and make sure that's done. And I keep it here because this sheet I kind of go back and forth to because it's the one that will mark every single day. And then if I take a look at this one, I figured out what I would do is I didn't have the task list for the month. So those items that I'm kind of putting down that I'd like to do, but don't need to be done on a specific day. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this here. So if I need to, if I'm not sure um, what tasks need to be done, I can go back to this. And because it's being moved from day to day, I can actually look at it, look at it here, and then um, kind of migrate things from here over to here if I need to. But a lot of times what I'm doing is I'm actually doing more of a brain dump at the end of the day. Like last night, I kind of looked at this and if I had anything that I thought I needed to do, I would go ahead and then put it on the day. If I thought it needed to go on a specific day, like here I thought there were some things I could plan for the 4th of July, like the goal planning. If I haven't had it done already, I wanna make sure that I focus on it for my eight week year planning. I can actually put that here for goal planning for that eight week year. And then that way it's already set up. And then you can see, because this is a full A5 sheet, and this was the Coco Daisy sheet, I would wind up being able to put it here, and then it doesn't mess up my writing board. And then I keep this for the today. This is just one of the Hoponichi um, writing boards. Then everything is set. This is not always how it's going to be, but um, I do like that when I look at this, it's easy to find this one. I'm not going to put a tab on this for right now, but I might on... The weekend make another tab for this one so that i can get to it really easy because you can see monthly is really easy to get to and then the weekly is really easy to get to i didn't do my tracker yet so i'm probably going to plan on doing that so i can track things like my exercise and then who knows what else but again i need to have my goals planned in order for me to figure out what are the things i need to track that's why i'm behind on the goals but hopefully if i can get caught up on that this weekend i can show you how i'm doing that for the following week. Hope everything's going well for your One Book July. See you next time.